Hi guys, Phoenix here, 76 here, and firstly an apology, the first part of this clip is missing because it was longer than five minutes, um, but the, the lead up was I noticed a Bloom associate, I hacked him, uh, and I knew he would then make a call and get a bounty placed on my head, and what that does is it pulls other online players into your session and you are then an online target for them. So what I did, I got myself in a position where I thought I would have the advantage um, and as you can see I was pausing the game. If the screen stays still, there's no one in your game, but if the pause menu comes up and the screen still moves, that means someone is in your game. Also with the focus mode, as you saw me do a couple of seconds ago, um, if the action doesn't slow down, it means someone is in your game. So I knew that someone was coming for me. I didn't know where from, so I was having a good look around. Unfortunately, I didn't look <laughs> in the right way. Um, I didn't look over to my right. Um, so the, the guy actually does start the hack, um, and you'll see that in a minute. And it does take me a little while to find them. Um, I expected him to come down there in a car. Um, I do actually see a car later on. I believed it, he was coming from there, but he didn't. So let's just watch it play out. I know he's in my game, I'm just currently looking. There you go, it's now confirmed that I'm being invaded. So he's basically profiled me. And there he goes, he started the backdoor hack. And when, when you're not zoomed in on the uh, sniper, you can see sort of a rough idea on the map where they are, where they could be. So now, I actually missed my opportunity that I wanted to have. I thought I would have the upper hand. Um, now I'm on the defense. I'm trying to locate this guy. I use the jammer to my advantage just to slow his hack down. It pauses it. I'm not exactly sure how long it pauses it for. I've never counted it. But it certainly did help me out. I had some trouble getting up here. Um, didn't realise I couldn't jump up this wall because of that fence at the top. So a bit of a fail there, a bit of a noob issue. Then we do get into the compound. One of the best tactics to use when you are being hacked and you don't know where someone is is to find some cameras. Um, you can uh, cover a much larger area in a short amount of time and you can get an overview. So I've now located a camera and I'm searching for the hacker. The cameras can also profile from a longer distance than your phone can, which is another reason to use them. So I'm just switching from camera to camera to camera, trying to see some sort of movement, someone acting suspiciously, um, while maintaining visibility in the search area. Unfortunately, while you're on the cameras, you can't see the map, and you can't see it narrowing down. <coughs> That's me. I think at this point I sort of give up. Oh no, I move over there and then I give up with the cameras and I go back on foot. I can now see that the search area is over in that direction. And I, I spot that trailer there and you can't see anything in it. Not down there, over there. You can't see anything in it at the minute but I thought that's a good place to hide. Acting on a hunch, run over. Sure enough, there he is. And that's how you want these to go. So it didn't start out the way I intended. I intended to pick him off before he even started the hack. Um, <laughs> which really frustrates the other players. Um, but, you know, I did get the outcome. I managed to stop him. Uh, from hacking me. I did do the focus again just there um, but because I'd only just killed him it was still the same online session and as you can see it slowed down there. So that's it guys thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.